I really appreciate you hooking me up with this Doom guy for a collab, but how exactly do you know this person? Yeah, so my ex-girlfriend's dad, he went to college with a guy who worked with him at the county fair before he was the Doom Slayer. Okay, and you'd say he's, he's okay, right? Like he's cool? Yeah, man, he's totally cool, but there's one thing. Just don't play any, like, metal music or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult. I gotta go. No! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we have a very special episode. When it comes to video games, one of my favorite video game series is Doom. And my favorite weapon in that series is the Doom Slayer Super Shotgun. I have always wanted one and today I finally have one. So this behemoth of a shotgun that I am deeming the Doom Slayer Super Shotgun is an 8 gauge double barrel shotgun with 18 inch barrels. You have a fiber optic front sight, double hammers, double triggers. It's a little worn and beat up. You've got the stock all wrapped up. It just looks nasty and I love it. In the video game, the super shotgun delivers more damage than most weapons. So I'm very excited to see how this double barrel eight gauge does in real life. I'm gonna show you the ammo real quick and then we're gonna start blasting. So today I have some ammo from the Doom Slayer himself. These are eight gauge shotgun shells. As you can see on the bottom of the shell, it says eight gauge in Doom hieroglyphics. On one side we have the Doom symbol, and on the other side you have some Doom hieroglyphics that are supposed to spell out Kentucky Ballistics. And then for some size comparison, here is a 12 gauge shell, just to show you how big these shells actually are. So when thinking about a target for today's video, I thought that a Ballistic Dummy Lab Zombie Torso would be perfect. This thing has green blood, lifelike flesh and bones, and looks like a revenant from the game Doom. Minus the shoulder cannons and jetpack. Did you know that it's against the law to not wear pants? If you're like this guy here, you're in luck, because today's sponsor is 5'11". Personally, my favorite kind of pants are khaki tactical pants. They're durable, they're comfortable, and they're loaded with pockets for things like your cell phone, your wallet, there's a candy bar holder, there's room for Gatorade, silly string, jumper cables, rubber chickens, deodorant, WD-40, an air horn, even an extra pair of pants. Not only does 5'11 make some pretty snazzy pants, they also make some other snazzy stuff. They got t-shirts. They got windbreakers. They got compression shorts. Those are supposed to be under your pants. Nuh-uh. They got shoes. They got stretchy jeans. They got rifle packs. Highly durable. So pretty much, 5'11 is awesome. And you know what else is awesome? 20% off. Right now, if you use code KB20, you will get 20% off all non-sale items. This is good online or in one of their many retail stores. And this offer is good all the way until July 11th. I know some of you can get annoyed with sponsorships sometimes, but I'm really excited about this one because I've been using their products for almost a decade. So a big thank you to 5'11 for sponsoring today's video. Be sure and check them out. Use my link in the description down below. Take advantage of that 20% off discount code. And now let's get back to the video. So now it's time to start testing out our Doom Slayer Super Shotgun. I'm going to start out with the weakest of rounds and then work our way up to the most potent. So first, 
we have some Doomslayer 8 gauge number 8 shot. Okie dokie, here we go. Let's pull both these hammers back. This should be interesting. I've never shot 8 gauge before. Wow! Both went off. I was wondering why that kicked so hard. Well, you know, I was gonna wait until the end of the video to pull both triggers, but it looks like we already got that out of the way. Not really sure what happened because I pulled the rear trigger. I'm guessing that the sheer recoil from this super shotgun set off the other hammer unintentionally. But if I'm being honest, that was pretty awesome. But Mr. Zombie would not agree. He got absolutely tore up. So up next, we're gonna step it up to some Doomslayer 8 gauge aught buck. This is smaller than double aught buck. That means there should be a lot more pellets in there. Okay, this time we're just gonna do one barrel at a time. So let's do the left barrel first. Ah! That tore him up and that recoil was much more manageable. I'm gonna hit him one more time, here we go. <laughs> so it appears to me that the eight gauge Doomslayer rounds are packing quite a punch. And as we increase in potency, Mr. Zombie is definitely feeling it. The number eight shot mostly did surface damage, but they still almost made it completely through the zombie. But the Ot Buck did a lot more damage. As you can see, he is leaking now, and we had several pellets almost make it completely through him. The Super Shotgun is not the only weapon or tool that the Doomslayer possesses. He has a lot of other things in his arsenal, and one of which is called the Blood Punch. And you know what? I have wanted to punch one of these things in the face for a very long time. So I'm going to take this opportunity to perform a Blood Punch. You are going to watch me break my wrist on this zombie's face and you're not even subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. As you can see, my punch is not as potent as the Doom Slayer's blood punch. Here we have the zombie's face, and as you can see, his jaw is broken, but it is nothing in comparison to if the Doom Slayer would have punched him in the noggin. So next, we are going to step it up to Quintopolot Buck. That is five zeros. These are 44 caliber pellets loaded in this eight gauge shell. It should pack quite a punch. All right, here we go. Boy, them hammers are stiff. Let's go for his lower section. Oh! One more barrel, here we go. <laughs> so at this point, I'm gonna say the Quintopolot Buck is definitely your top choice when it comes to taking out monsters. The number eight shot and the Ot Buck did a lot of damage, but they did not make it all the way through. This time with the Quintopolot Buck, we did a lot of damage, but we also made it all the way through. As you can see here, we have several exit holes and we have several holes in our table. I would say that it's time to step it up to our next round, but I've discovered some other problems. So it appears to me that we have an infestation of cockle demons. We have a rather large one here that has laid several eggs and the only solution for this is a super shotgun. It's really hard to see in this helmet. Super 
our shotgun really did the trick. So up next, I have a round that the Doom Slayer would probably actually use. This is an eight gauge shell and inside it possesses a thousand grains of swan shot. Swan shot is basically little droplets of lead. So as you can imagine, this should be pretty damaging. Here we go. Oh! Okay, swan shot, I'm going to say is Doom Slayer approved. <laughs> that is just awful. It's falling apart right now. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh no. Ew, that is absolutely, oh my God. So at this point, I'm going to say that the swan shot has probably broken up into much tinier pieces. So I have some here to show you. This is what swan shot looks like. That is droplets of lead. And as you can see here, it causes quite a bit of damage. I don't feel like any of it made it completely through the body. Here's a big piece right here. Just a tiny little sliver left of it. One little droplet is not gonna do much damage, but a thousand grain is gonna cause some pain. So our zombie is over there falling apart, so I'm gonna hurry up and get to this. I have the eight gauge shotgun loaded up with two 800 grain eight gauge slugs. Let's see what they do to the remnants of Mr. Zombie here. Oh! I'm gonna step up just a tad for this last one. Here we go. Oh! Yeah, those eight gauge slugs are not playing around. So let's have a look at Mr. Zombie here. Uh, we had two good hits with the eight gauge slugs. They blew right through him. And actually, one of the slugs blew through the zombie, and then it hit the table right here, then hit this metal rod, and it is right here on the ground. And it's still mostly intact. Look at that thing. So when it comes to the Doom Slayer's 8-gauge super shotgun, if I had to pick one ammo to take out the evil monsters that I would be facing, I think I'm gonna go with either the Quintopolot Buck or honestly, the Swan Shot. It was pretty nasty. <laughs> shotgun does not do the trick you always have the option of a chainsaw when you're in the realm of doom well that's going to be it for today's video what did you think about the doom slayer super shotgun let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed today's video do me a big favor and give it a like and if you're not subscribed to kentucky ballistics do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a Doom Slayer costume. Totally joking, I do not have any of these, but I do have some pretty awesome shirts. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. Rip and tear!